live from the trade show floor of Hims. It's Health in 2.00. trade show floor of hymns in that creepy little tunnel bridge thing that overlooks the exhibit hall. Matthew Holt, are you out there? Where are you? I'm in our booth! Oh my right god, next door to my unicorn! Oh my There's god! There's a unicorn! Yay, self-quarantine hymns apocalypse 2020! So excited to be here. Also, we figured out how to use the virtual backgrounds in Zoom. Well, you've <laughs> kind of figured it out better than I have. I'm a little bit bright and light. Look and how real up. this looks. It looks like I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're right there and I look like I'm kind of in front of our booth last year, but the unicorn's looking good. You're fading away because it's him, him's apocalypse. <laughs> I'm pointing that. Hashtag him's apocalypse 20. It might, it might be like the scene in Back to the Future where, you know, because there wasn't happen. a hymns, I'm slowly fading away. Maybe oh my God. Be because you didn't go to Redox's party and drink a margarita, margarita and, and hog Mandy Bishop. Now you're fading away. <laughs> Maybe I'll last till the, what's going to be the end of the week. Anyway, do we have a show to do or what? We totally do. Okay. okay. So for this episode, do you have your timer ready, sir? Because we all are right. going to talk all about all of the things that we are missing at hymns right now. All right. Ready, set, go. Okay, what do you think Trump would have said had he had the opportunity to speak today? EMRs work perfectly. Interoperability is a beautiful thing. What do you think he would have said? I think he would have said, uh, oh, hang on, I'll get my Trump hair on. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think he would have said, uh, well, I love Alex Azar. I have Seema Verma, and I want them to see them cage match it out on Wednesday nights. So I'm going to hang out until that. Maybe he would have said that. Maybe it would have been perfect. The most perfect speech ever at Hymns, by a long way. The crowd would have been huge, huge. The crowd, there would have been 800,000 people in the exhibit hall, okay. uh, in, the, in the keynote hall, waiting to see me. Biggest crowd ever at Hymns. Okay, and he would have probably infected everybody with coronavirus because he was just at that meeting where he's like chief of staff, got it. Okay, so what conversation do you think that we miss about the new ONC rules? So I think the new ONC rules would have been that the patients now... It's their duty to gather all their data from every source, mm -hmm. huddle it all together at once, and then hand it over to a hospital and not be able to touch it again. Okay, so you've gone into like bizarro world here. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we'll okay. be hearing a lot more about the 1,278 pages of how data is all accessible now. It's all going to be fine. All right. What do you think was the big funding announcement that we missed as a result of HIMSS not happening? I think the big funding announcement that we've missed is the massive uh, influx of venture capital that HIMSS itself will require in order to pay off all the exhibitors who are waiting for their checks back. They just announced they're giving everyone a credit for next year's tickets, which uh, means that they'll need some money next year. So I'm hope actually, seriously, I'm hopeful they'll do that, that uh, something will work out because it's a huge hit to the organization. Absolutely. Okay. How many people do you think you personally, Matthew Holt, would have single-handedly infected with coronavirus had you been able to attend this conference? How, here's my question. If I got <laughs> close, oh, that's the, that's the, the two minutes. If I got close enough to Trump, given right, the all the people who have infected him, if I got mm -hmm. close enough to Trump, he coughed on me. I was down the front. Then I went uh, on the exhibit floor to. Uh, let me see. I would have gone to the uh, Israeli. Pavilion, that, that, uh, that the wipes out the nation, not There's a German pavilion, they would have gone as well. Um, there's probably an Australian pavilion or something. You know, any startup in Startup Alley, they would all have Warmed. gone. And then uh, that doesn't count the fact that I would have gone to the Redox party, mm. the Arbia party, the HLTH party, the AMA party, uh, Springboard Women's party. I mean, wow. I don't think anybody would have been left. It's, no, it's true. just as well that we're self quarantining at home. We're self-quarantining and having pretend hymns. I love it. <laughs> we pretend. We're well, a pretend unicorn, which I guess is what, <laughs> given, the stock, given what happened to the stock market today and last week and for the yeah. recent days, probably what would be, uh, the, it's probably going to be the case with them. Hey, yes, remember sure. last year when you couldn't get off of that unicorn? When you interviewed somebody and you sat down on that unicorn and you couldn't get up? We have video footage of that. We should bring that back up. <laughs> I had fallen and I could not get up. 
Hymns well, Apocalypse was, 2020. That was for the 2019 Apocalypse. 2020, I'm in my fitness program. I would have been bouncing off the unicorn. Yeah, and you're just disappearing. That's all. <laughs> no, I'm just fading away. But fading I'm hopeful. Away. That, I'm hopeful that Mandy Bishop will come and give me a virtual hug, and I'll come back. To that. Yeah, so that you can be saved. This is terrible. <laughs> like the bit of Back to the Future. Well, well needless to say, we definitely have some extra time on our hands now that we're not at him. <laughs> so for all of you who want to tweet to us, please, we've got nothing to do. We miss all of our friends. Why aren't any of the happy hours virtual? Somebody please do this. If it's going to be anybody, it's going to be Redox. I did, I did request the Redox folks that they should send around, you know, the margarita with bottle service. Yeah, yeah I mean, we're close enough. Book. Like, hey, just, just send it across the country. We're cool. Um, so if you have a picture of your booth and you would like us to film a health and 2.0 in front of it, you be sure to send that over. I'm at Justin on Twitter. And he, of course, is at Bolty Boy. And if you're going to please start using the hashtag, hashtag Hymns Apocalypse, because I feel like it pretty much summarizes the situation here, don't you think? <laughs> All right, guys. Um, <laughs> We will be back, hopefully, with I some real news. I my health at 2.0, is there a zero? <laughs> no, no, you can't, but hopefully we'll be back with some real news, not some fake news. <laughs> Coming up soon this week. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Look at this, it looks so real.